Gentlemen, the time has come once again to discuss things. Um, hey everybody, welcome to uh, mini-sode of Geeky Gentlemen. I am Sid Part 2, and with me today... Is Milan Jeftik1992, and yes, that is my real name. Indeed, indeed. So, everybody, Milan's been posting a lot of, you know, Batman videos lately where he's... He's kind of talking shit. And the one thing I yeah. keep hearing him say in these is that Batman could not beat Superman in a fight. And... I take issue with that, and I know that there are other people who do as well, so I figured it'd be, it'd be worth talking to Milan about this. So, Milan, why exactly do you think this is the case? Well, uh, I understand people have this kind of fascination with Batman in the more recent years. I mean, people have always had a fascination with Batman since, you know, he, the, the majority of his you know appearances on film and on television have been quite successful. And you know, you know, with the new video games and the movies, and basically, Batmania is—it's not exactly dying down, but it's still pretty hot. And I'm just—the main problem with it is just kind of insane, gibbering bat fanboys on the internet who are just gonna say, who who fully, completely, and sincerely mean when they say, "Oh, Batman can be Galactus," and "Oh, well, Batman can I be mean, anybody." That one, Batman vs. Galactus. Um... I'd, I'd give it some benefit. It all depends on the circumstance. Just because, you know, Galactus is routinely beaten by the Fantastic Four and not in, like, a fist fight kind of way. It's usually based on Reed Richards' intelligence, so I could maybe mm. believe it. I, like, I would not say Batman can beat Superman in a fist fight, but of course as far not, as just, yeah. just putting him into submission, getting him KO'd or something like that, I think it's mm. completely plausible. I disagree. You see, uh, with characters, well, there's two kinds of Batman. There's the, you know, gritty detective, you know, on the street with the little guy, you know, kind of super insane detective Batman, which I like, you know, the the Batman from the video games and from the comics, the guy, well, from most of the comics, who's just kind of a very analytical, very down-to-earth street, you know, bear, bra you know, brawler. Yeah, I get you, I get you. And what's the other guy? But there's also, the other is obviously the Bat God. Let's not say like I like the bad god bat god writing in the Justice League books, you know you know he knows basically everything. He's a Lex Luthor level intellect. He basically knows every tiny insignificant fact about everything. Well, and, that's, and, and, like, that's really, fun. That's not too different from the detective level things. It's just that that's in his character. If he was going to be around those people, he would be prepared for this because he treats know, the I, Justice I, League members just like he treats a Robin. Um, as far as I, working I with them. Yeah, but no, let's, let's, get to, just... let's just get to Superman versus Batman. See, the thing is, Bat God is something that um, one of our favorite writers, Grant Morrison, really solidified. Praise be, yeah, praise be his name, obviously. Yeah, um, he really solidified that with his run on Batman over the last couple of years. Um, in the Justice League context, with uh, the return of Bruce Wayne's story, he actually solidified Batman as a mythic god um mm -hmm. so that was really interesting but the thing is oh, i mean we can go back to it it wasn't morrison it was the guys that picked up right after morrison in the justice league comics from the 90s with tower of babel where batman's biggest problem was finding a way to subdue superman that was non-lethal and he did it um so i don't know i just like yes i you and I have talked about this a little bit before, and like you mentioned, okay, the Injustice is what kind of brought this up, the Injustice game. Well, that game's stupid because Joker's getting thrown through like six buildings by Lex Luthor and he's just fine. No, of course, that that's a terrible basis for a fight. I'm talking like, if, if, they, if these two were to fight, you know, obviously the reasons are very important, um, but, you know, let's, let's brush those aside and just say that it's normal Batman and normal Superman fighting for whatever reason. 
uh, even though they wouldn't. And the thing is, Batman should have this because he just focuses, in my mind, so much on every little detail. Uh, once again, Grant Morrison, you look at uh, Batman R.I.P., he, he plans for everything, literally everything. Why wouldn't he have thought of, like, 17 ways to beat Superman that don't involve kryptonite? You there? Ladies and gentlemen, we may have lost Milan. This is unfortunate, because now I have to keep talking. Hey. You there? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, I had, I, you know, everyone, I'm sorry about that, but I do have a geriatric heart patient to take care of. You know, on occasion. Uh, but, um, yeah. All very good points. I'm just going to pretend that I heard all the things you were talking about. Well, let, let me just say my last point that I was building to. If Batman plans for everything to the point where he's creating supplemental personalities to take over for himself should Bruce Wayne come under attack, what makes you think that Batman hasn't thought of, like, 20 ways... 17 is the number I used. 17 ways to take down Superman that don't involve kryptonite. I can see where you're going with this. But the thing is, if, it's, if, super, if Batman can do it, then why is Superman still alive? I mean... Superman, I mean, Batman is not like the smartest guy in the DC universe. There are guys smarter than him. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, and that's actually the thing I've been bringing up is, like, if Batman isn't a threat, then why is Lex Luthor a threat? No, I'm not saying, like, um, I'm not saying, it, it just kind of diminishes Superman, I think, because, like, oh, if Batman can kill him and he's not the smartest guy out there. Well, for, for Batman is one of the smartest people. Like, one I, think, of the... I think it's... Yeah. Batman, actually, as far as human beings go, I think it's Batman, Lex Luthor, and Mr. Terrific are the three smartest people on the planet in that universe. I believe so, yes. But then, uh, I guess there are other people who have at least thought of one way of killing Superman. And why is he still alive? I mean, it's like, you know, if super, apparently Kryptonite is so easy to get you know, hold of, and if there's well, so that's many possibilities. That's, that's, that's my point, is Batman probably wouldn't use Kryptonite because he doesn't want to kill Superman. Superman rarely goes up against someone that doesn't want to kill him. Hmm. Good point. Like, I, did you see um, Superman Doomsday, the, the animated film? Uh, no, not really. Why? Uh, there's this scene where Superman's in a room with Lex Luthor and there are red solar lamps. And that takes away his powers. It doesn't, like, hurt him like Kryptonite does. It just neutralizes his powers. Why wouldn't Batman have thought of something like that? Just red solar lamps, and then suddenly, who has the advantage right now? Um, What's that? Uh, this is a good little book here. Uh, I love when this happens. He must be wrong, you must be wrong, you must be wrong, you must be uh, my dad, yeah, he's, he's kicking me out for the umpteenth time because I'm on the computer and it's late. But don't worry about him. He'll just mumble for a little bit, piss, and then just go away. Uh, anyway, yeah, like, it's not the fact, like, I think, I don't think Batman could beat Superman in a fight. It's just, it, it, it's happening so much that it just kind of loses its luster. It's like, oh, well, obviously Batman can beat Superman in a fight. Then it makes Superman less of a threat. I mean, like... Yeah, I'm sure, but I mean, it's like it's gone to the point where Superman's no longer a threat to anybody because if Batman can take him down, then well, yeah, but everybody's afraid of Batman, though. Like, that's the thing is being taken down by Batman is no small feat. Um, you know, to, to attract his attention in and of itself, like, that's the thing. Um, what's that line when, um, Good guys get together, they tell bad guys stories. When bad guys get together, they tell Joker stories. Well, the thing is, when just, you know, street-level crooks get together, they tell Batman stories, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's it's kind of, what was the... You remember the episode with Dr. Destiny from Justice League where Batman's talking yeah. to him and he's like, um, you know, come on, Johnny, just you and me. It'll give you some cred in the... In the uh, joint i believe is is the terminology batman used um mm. that's the thing is to just be to just have been beaten up by batman is like a thing in the dcu i know um, i know but it's just like uh it's it's kind of like i, I want at least a, a fight where where superman like you know yeah he can take batman down if batman fucks up once yeah if there's one yeah i mean yeah but it's just 
it's going to the point where it's like, yo, know, it's it's the fact that he wins all the time. No, he usually like, doesn't. Um, he barely won in Hush. Uh, he didn't really win in The Dark Knight Returns because he had a heart attack right in the middle of it. Um, no, but the, he kind of he symbolically won. He had Superman under his heel, and that was. I'm not just saying. I'm not. I'm not putting you know Batman down. Everyone, don't try to you know get this the wrong way. I love Batman. He's Batman. I'm a geek, but it's just. It seems that like if you even question Batman's awesomeness, you're committing heresy against the House of Batman. And well, like apparently, no, apparently, the thing is, you keep like you're really making bad arguments in this video. I got to say because every video I've listened to where you're talking about Superman and and how you're tired of Batman, you're saying that Batman doesn't even have a chance. And now you're saying, okay, yeah, but he just wins too much. You're kind of going back on what I've heard you, what yeah. I've been hearing you talk about. I know, I know, but it's just, uh, it's just. What can I say? I mean, like you mentioned all those stories before where Batman wins, and I can't really argue with. The fact that the writers want Batman to win. It's conflict and it's interesting. And if Superman wins, basically, and he's mind controlled or something, you'll just rip Batman apart like a flake. And that's that's all true, but it, and it's a really interesting story. But if it happens all the time for me, it's just kind of. See, if what. Um, if, let's if, Superman let's, let's, steal. Superman well, won. Um, um, the thing is, if. if if, if Batman can beat Superman, then why is like a god is a lunatic in a clown costume giving him so much trouble? Because it's not in the same kind of thing. Joker's unpredictable. That's Batman's biggest problem with him. Um, they've mentioned that several times. There's no predicting what Joker's gonna do. You can predict that he's gonna try to escape the asylum, and what does he do? He takes over the asylum um, and s makes it into his fortress. There's that's the thing is it's not oh damn it you still there sorry everybody we're having just tons of issues with this call um, yeah and it's all my fault as usual yeah pretty much pretty mm, much mm. i don't know I, I don't think i'd have you any other way um, oh thanks that's the oh that's the first time anybody has ever said that to me yeah no mm -hmm. i heard bill say it now i'm kind of i'm kind of adopting it um, oh, that's so nice. I have actual friends that don't want to change me. Oh, oh no, I want you to change. <laughs> just... <laughs> I just like that way that sentence sounds for some reason. Anyway, oh, um, okay. so where were we? Do you remember? No clue. All right, hold on a sec. Uh... Open recording folder... All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop recording and and figure out where we were first. Yeah. All, right, All right, you ready? Yeah. So yeah, with Joker, there's no predicting the threat. With Superman, there's only a limited number of things that he can threaten Batman with. Because I mean, intellect-wise, as far as out of the box thinking, Batman's got him covered. And then it's just then he's mostly a th physical threat at that point. Um, yeah, then it's just I, I, Batman I, determining what he's going to do physically that could cause him a problem. I can hear myself echoing. Oh, no, oh. I can't. No, I can't. Never mind. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's true. But I think mainly it's just Superman is far too nice because, yeah, like in The Dark Knight Returns, he just like literally hours beforehand, he took a nuclear bomb to the chest and he's kind of holding back because he's trying to talk Bruce out of, you know, whatever the hell he's doing. And like, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, Bruce, calm down, you know, and... You know, you know, Batman is putting up a fight, but mostly it's because Superman is like, you know, I can, just, you know, I can obviously you get a super speed and rip your head right off because it's basically a turtle suit you're wearing. But you know, I, I, he still, you know, Batman still beats the shit out of Superman, and I won't have it any other way. You know, thank you, Frank Miller. I don't care. He's still cool. But um, yeah, I mean, with with super with with, with the Joker, I think the fact that he's oh he's so unpredict unpredictable. It's like, yeah, I, I love the Joker-Batman dynamic, don't get me wrong, but it kind of, for me at least, it's kind of starts to, I, I like them in the gritty kind of Gotham City setting, because, you know, you have the Joker, you know, his insanity works there. When he's, you know, when, when he is, you know, obviously it's fun to have him, you know, pair up with Lex Luthor and we have like a, a fun kind of, you know, crazy-ass lunatic. Well, you know, it never works out for them. 
It has totally, never worked. Totally. I know, I know. And I love that. I know if you read, you know, I think Lord Jazor did like this, you know, reading of an issue of The Outsiders where basically the Joker tortures Lex Luthor. And L- Luthor just, you know, he's on the one of those, you know, you know, Vietnam style torture, you know, electrical table things. And Joker's like frying him over and over again. And then just, I'm looking to spoil it. I'm sure you can link it. But basically, Luther just looks at him and says, like, and he's like, okay, I'll tell you where the thing you want is, Joker. And, and Joker's like, Reigns in my yes. And Luther just looks at him and like, it would have helped, no, matter, no matter how hard you try, he'll always like Catwoman more than you. And there's this shot of the Joker, and it's just, he's like shocked. I mean, seriously shocked. It's not like, you know, false bravado shock Joker. And then just Luther starts just losing his shit and laughing. And the Joker gets so pissed. He's like, give me a fucking axe. I'm going to chop his bloody hands off. And I love <laughs> that. It is just hysterical. And... I, I do I do like when gay Joker is written well. Oh, um, gay Joker. Uh, it, it's gay coded Joker, my friend. There's a difference. Anyway. Oh. um, No, I just... Let, let's get back to the, the main topic, though. Because I do want to hear... Like, okay, so you don't like that Batman always wins, but in what in what sense do you think he couldn't win? Because that's what I've been hearing you say, is like things like, as soon as Superman takes away the Kryptonite ring, Batman loses. Like, in, in what sense couldn't he win? I think they kind of make the dumb... De- whenever Batman and Superman kind of come up together, like, you know, they're, they're gonna fight, they always dumb down Superman unnecessarily. And they I'd always- agree with that to a fault. Um... And because you know, all Superman really can't has to do is just shoot the, you know, if he has the kryptonite ring, and he, like, Superman, he just shows up, and Batman's like, oh, wait, I got a kryptonite ring. All he's got to do is just laser vision, you know, that freaking thing right off, you know, See, Batman's that's, finger. Yeah. That's That one's up for debate, because it's it's questionable what exactly happens if he laser visions kryptonite. I know, actually, you know, I can't believe I'm citing this, but... I know Smallville handled it handled it really well, where he went blind for a couple weeks. Um, oh, really? Yeah, that was one of the more interesting things they ever did with the Kryptonite, which makes sense because I mean, it it, it should be yeah, it's just all I, around weakness. I know it's um, it, I know it's you know the dust particles and they explode, but all he has to do is just blow them, you know, super breath them away, and then it's just like, hey, Batman, you got no Kryptonite ring. Mm-hmm. Fair I, enough. Um. The kryptonite rings one thing that I'm like, eh, probably not the best method to fight with. Um, that's why I'm more just with like red solar lamps because. Yeah. Well, if, if the thing is, if they just use the, those kind of very ingenious, kind of more smart versions of how Batman beats Superman, I'd be fine with that because at least it'd be really entertaining to see what would Batman do this time. If they just went out, if they did it really clever and just not relied on the kryptonite ring. And the whole robot suit thing, I would have just loved it. I know yeah, people... I'd agree. That, those two do bug me because, no, he, he, like, anytime Batman goes up against him in a fist fight, I'm like, all right, come on now. This is ridiculous. Exactly. But I mean, me, it just as far as when people say who would win in a fight, what I, I don't think of a fist fight. I think of a who would of wits. be able to put the other one on their ass. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Um, and that's where I come from with it. You know, you look at, um, I, I know you have Red Tower of Babel, but in that one, it kind of had the opposite effect that it did in uh, All Star Superman, but in Tower of Babel, he overexposed Clark. He did something with red kryptonite, I think, or like super irradiated kryptonite. That's it. To he gave it, Clark came in contact with over irradiated kryptonite, and it turned his skin translucent. Yeah, I, I, I heard this, and he's basically overloaded on reds on yellow sun energy i got that and see that if he did if they did more things like that and just have that really fucking clever batman i'd love it and that i would just have no problem with the whole batman wins all the time because then it would be really entertaining to see oh, oh that's fucking slur you know it'd be, it'd, it'd be a clever yeah, thing but, if they, that. but that, see that's where i'm coming from with it like mm. if you'd say that if, if you'd said if you'd been saying in the videos, Batman cannot beat Superman in a fist fight, I would completely agree with you. But you keep saying Batman can't beat Superman. I'm like, no, because Batman doesn't, Batman is not an idiot. He doesn't just usually fight people unless the writer's a moron. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but the thing, yeah, that's the thing. It's mostly the majority of those stories. 
I mean, it's more to do with the fans who are just like, oh, well, I want Batman to punch Superman in the face because it would look awesome. And it does look awesome, but in, in that kind of derpy, stupid way that does make some sense. It, it, it's it's awesome in the same, in the goddamn Batman kind of way. Exactly, exactly. And the goddamn Batman is fun, but only if you know you're meant to be taking him as a fun thing. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree there. Um, see, that's that's the thing, is you need to clarify exactly what it is you're saying um, mm-hmm. for Bob. Yeah. Because this is a completely different conversation than what I thought we'd get into. Um, yeah, well, that's the thing with me. You never know what, what kind of weird direction I might turn, you know, veer to the left. Just with. like, I've been saying this, this, and this, and now I'm just going to completely contradict myself. Yep, now, that's... as far as injustice goes, um, because I know you said this is where, like, a lot of this came from with you. And I'd agree, injustice is dumb. I mean, well... the whole premise is dumb. You do realize how he how he's able to you know take a train to the face, right? The kryptonite, you know, kryptonite bone strengthening technology, nano pill. Or... Really? Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah, basically that's the thing. I had this. Yeah, I don't know if you guys watch K Wing. He's a video game reviewer. He does, you know, really fun. You know, he did a really great Arkham City. You know, walkthrough. What was cool. But basically, he was expecting, like, a civil war, but in the DC universe, and they kind of are doing that, but that's in the comics. But the game is mainly just, you know, Mortal Kombat with, a, you know, with an Elseworld story rolled in. Yeah, but, pretty much. But uh, basically, for all of you guys who really want that kind of civil war, but with DC universe, pick up the comics, because they're just... I, I, I've seen just little bits and pieces from them, and they just... They, they seem so badass. I want to... I think it, it, yeah, I've heard good things about the comics, but the game, I'm like, just any kind of story in a fighting game, I'm like, what the fuck is the point? I bought it to fight. I didn't buy it for the damn story. But the thing you know? is, actually, the game looks so much fun because with that kind of, you know, super hyper pill thing out of the way, it's kind of, it looks fucking fun as hell, I swear to God. Yeah, I mean, sure, it looks fun, <laughs> but don't try to explain it. Just, they're fighting. And it works because bullshit reason. That's yeah. that's all you need. Like honestly, I would feel so much better about that game if like it just opened with, and now the heroes are gonna fight because and like the gross inaccuracies in their power levels are to be ignored because of this random bullshit right here. Like if that was the direct thing that the guy said at the beginning of the game, I'd be so happy. That's pretty <laughs> much. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much it. They like, basically... you don't need a good explanation. It's a fucking fighting game. Yeah, it's, uh, basi- it's basically, you know, power pill. Eat the power pill, you can take a train to the face and walk away smiling. Like, I would be happier if Batman just had the fucking mushroom from Mario Brothers. Oh. <laughs> I think there's a mod for that, and you can actually, you know, do that. <laughs> don't lie. I know, but it would be cool if it was true. Yeah. 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 Thing is, Milan, you just have like such a flat lie. It's so amazing. You can just it, it, it's you just interweave truth and lies like it's nothing. It, the, so I don't know when to believe you sometimes. And the <laughs> strange thing with that is that you'd be surprised what's true and what's actually just a, a flourishy lie, because most of the weird shit I tell you are absolute truths. Yeah. But and, and I just kind of lie to piece them together in a more cohesive narrative. Okay, anyway, um, so Batman vs. Superman, I'm still, like, very much on the side of Batman wins, but not in, like, a fist fight. I'll, I'll in, the fully... battle of wits, in the battle of wits, you know, strategy-wise, yeah, I have to agree, Batman will have to win. But the thing is, yeah, it's, it, it's fun, but, uh, you see, goodness, what's the right word? Uh, it's, it's weird when, uh, see, I, I can't really see... Uh, you know, the Arkham City Batman kind of working in a... Um, it's strange, like, they said they were going to be doing, like, a crossover with the Justice League in the newer game, and... Tone, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, but well, tone-wise, it'll look kind of... It won't fit because you have, like, Superman, and it's, like, gritty, you know, disgusting, fucking amazingly gritty Gotham. I don't know. It depends how you do Superman. If you do him similar to how Azarella wrote him in Man of Steel, you can pull it off. Oh, uh, oh okay, then that's fine. I, I guess that'd be interesting. But, um, yeah, goodness. Uh, what else do you want to cover? Um, well, okay. 
now we, we tackled, you know, the the issue that's kind of like the, the sub par thing in this, but I think we should really get into, you know, the main issue that's on everybody's mind. Who would win in a fight? Ace or Crypto? Well, it's obviously Crypto because Ace is just, well, Ace is awesome. Don't get me wrong. He's a badass great dame, but Crypto. Crypto, all he has to do, he can bark loudly and basically break. He, he barks loud and things blow up. But what if what if Crypt or what if um, Ace is being offered a bat treat if he wins the fight? Ooh. Alright, my little brother's back. Why the fuck did you take the samurai sword? Why the fuck did you take the samurai sword? No, did you, just let me share the blade. Were you hitting it against the tree? Nikki, give me back my fucking samurai sword. Nikki, give me back my fucking samurai sword. <laughs> okay, everybody, thanks for listening to this no, no, very no. special, what... strange episode of Geeky Gentlemen. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Until I, time. I, no, no, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I, we're not, I'm not done talking about crypto and you know Ace, but basically, my little brother just walked in, you know, in a black, you know, leather coat, in a, you know, white cap, you know, put on a jaunty douchebag angle. You gotta go to bed, Vicky. It's a school night. Fucking running around at fucking 12 a.m. and 2 a.m. with a fucking samurai sword. Anyway, uh, yes, crypto would t- definitely win, but if, yeah, a bat snack, you know, in reward for winning, ooh, that's, I think that'd make it quite even. I think they're gonna battle to a draw. <laughs> Okay, anyway, thanks everybody for listening, and until next time, I'm the Philosopher. And I'm the Madman. And we are your geeky gentlemen. We will be discussing things.